You're looking live at a shot of downtown Fort Worth, Texas, where two teams that are very familiar with each other in a very familiar place. It's playoff time as the Vancouver Legion travel south of the border to visit the South Division champion, the Fort Worth Toro. Most wins in a regular season with nine captured the SFL's South Division. Throw down the middle of the field, caught by James Walters. Chain of defense, it's third and two from the 35. Fort Worth jumped again, and oh brother, did Redford get lit up, but it won't matter. What can you tell us about Vancouver's kicker, Cohen, while we're in the close to the red zone? Chance to win is the kicker. Toro's trying to come up with another big stop, initial blitz. No, they cross him up with the dive up the middle to Redford. Three in the backfield. They get to Redford. <laughs> in fact, he lost the yard, it's back to the two. Whoa, what a heck of a goal line stand for Fort Worth Toros, ladies and gentlemen. Convert the touchdown, they'll try the field goal. Chance to win. It's basically the length of an extra point. Eight, eight yards is up and good. 8.47 to go in the first quarter. And for the Toros, they just simply need to possess the ball. Rick, they held that ball. They hardly had any chance to possess the ball in that opening stanza. And Bacon. There we Bacon go. Bacon over the 50 to the 40 here. To, the 50 to the 20. And all the way down to the Vancouver 17 goes Jay-Z Bacon, a run of 51 yards. Holy smokes, about 30, 35 yards downfield. He hit, put it into overdrive. Let's see if we can see it here from the end zone view. Right there. Unbelievable. Yeah, right. uh, the wrong defensive call if you're Vancouver. Gash them for a big gain, puts them in a position to put some points on the board. He's up to 62 yards on five carries. That's himself a first down here. It'll be first and call up to six. For expert staff, who the expert staff of the Rick Maynard believes will be winning this game. It's uh, at neutral right now. Dunhill fires, complete touchdown. Woo. Touchdown to Cade Stevens. Not bad. We receive it, Cade Stevens for grab 43 yards. And that's another reception for Stevens as he picks up about 12. Of them look like they were uh, maybe missed calls or certainly reviewable. Uh, but they it killed a number of drives. Trips to the bottom. Don Hill fires. He's oh. got Hacker. And Hacker running free down the sideline. Will get tackled at the 12 by number 41, Zach Lay. <laughs> um, to the 12. That is a 52-yard gain. Uh-oh. As Bacon up the middle, touchdown. Untouched until he crosses the goal line. Make a bacon. I smell bacon. You can see now that Fort Worth has started to uh, bust out on the statistical. Third one, and the pass complete to Stevens for the first down to the 44. Seen this backfire before on the visitors from <laughs> they, Canada. They placed the ball right on the line to gain. <laughs> Take it. No! Oh, he gets, In fact, he didn't gain anything, they said. He got knocked down. He, had, he might have lost. Tackled by Marquise Reed. In terms of... He's 17 of 18 in the year. This is a pretty long one. 51 and a half. He gets a boot wow. into it, and it's good. Them. They need to throw down the field. And guess what Fort Worth has, Colin? I think the league-leading uh, secondary... In terms of uh, picks. Number one in terms of total interceptions as a group. Killian finds a hole in the defense. He burns him. As you said, two touchdowns here as Redford is now up over 100 yards on 20 carries of the rock. He's at one of two. Brown back to throw, fires up. Chris Curtis again. <laughs> gets, he, he gets mauled. The 26 is he's looking the numbers for Brown. He's like, this is attempt number two. He's 37 good. yards is good, and while well, Christian Brown is contemplating on the bench whether or not he became Kirk Cousins. Where we say things like, all oh, y'all. John Hill back to throw, fires down the field. Oh, tipped in here. Oh, oh my God, it. it's caught. It's caught on the play by one of the linebackers out there for Vancouver. Christian Brown facing a third and five from his forward 22-yard line. Three-step drop, 
Throws it up to Redford. Has to make something happen. He cannot. Chance to win on to kick his third field goal of the ball game to make this a 17-9 affair. And the field goal from 35 is up and good. Make the, make the catches. Yeah, he's been a stalwart. He's a, a, a reliable piece lever for the offense. Look and at this. Dunhill down the field catch made for the first down. That's Charlie Baker again to the Legion 42. Run in heavy traffic, but the problem is if it's heavy zone, guys are going to be there. Mm -hmm. Tip balls are generally bad news for the offense. Gary Jr. that time holds on. Tackled at the 31 just to end of the six first down. <laughs> he gave us, I say, gave us life for the first down, but he's up. Beta Pick'em Games, play SFL Fantasy Football, and test your skills in the Survivor Pool. To join our server, visit simulationfl.net and click on the Discord icon on the menu. On for another field goal attempt. This one to push the lead out to 20. It's good from 22 yards away. That is evening. That is his... I want to say seventh grab. Yes, is down the middle. One oh. is killing, and just like that, in one lightning strike, the moose is loose wake, for a score. Wake up the echoes. But not a lot of time to do it. You probably have to get just before the 31 yard line, maybe the 32 for reasonable field. Oh. <laughs> and intercepted off the deflection by Aiden Davis and the Fort Worth Toros. Uh oh Look like they'll be hanging on. Well, if, don't forget, Vancouver has all three timeouts. Davis, so. the deflection. I didn't see who tipped the ball in the air, but the SFL's number one intercepting team in terms of sheer interception numbers during the regular season grabs their second one of the day. Wow. In the summertime. In the, in the next uh, 21st season, yeah. Yeah, we want to thank uh, everybody for watching uh, this game. And don't forget, we've got the... Uh, uh, SFL update coming in, in uh, here at the end of this game. Thank you, everybody, for listening. I'm Rick Northrup. Colin Northrup. Thank you to Justin Resign and Greg Soto on stats. 20-17, your final score. Taro's moving on.